Hi! Happy Hump Day! If you already are not signed up for my email list, I send out an email every Wednesday. It's my Hump Day update. And I let everybody know what's been going on um, recently. I also send out an email on Friday where I showcase a piece of my artwork. Um, so Fine Art Friday is what I call that one. And if you're watching this, you're probably on my YouTube channel where I make videos about making art, which is what this video is about today, and also about art news, which I usually release on a Friday, and camera news, which is uh, always a lot of fun. I usually release that, I think, on Thursdays, um, because a lot of what I do is photography-based, so I use cameras. I use uh, Nikon cameras. I have three Nikon cameras and a Hasselblad camera right now. So those are the cameras that I'm using. So I do camera news videos also. But like I said, today is about making art. And since a lot of what I do is photography based, I use a, uh, my photos that I take. And then in the editing process, uh, instead of trying to make them into great photographs, which uh, I could do, and sometimes I, I publish those photographs on my uh, online store, but I like to make them look like a painting or a drawing and try to make those images look like my uh, traditional media oil paints and watercolors and drawings and things like that. So that way I have like a cohesive body of work. And usually when I go back into those photographs and I draw on them and paint on them and things like that, I use a Wacom tablet uh, as well as my iPad. Uh, but the Wacom is the one that's connected to my computer and I use that most often. In fact, this is it right here. You can see it. It's a uh, Cintiq display. Uh, that's what I use to uh, make most of my art. And um, so I spend a lot of time here at the computer <laughs> working on that. But uh, Cintiq is a, is a really good brand. Uh, there's a number of really good brands that are <clears throat> touch sensitive displays that I can sit and draw on using a stylus, you know, and then I just. paint. Um, sorry about the, the video. There we go. It's readjusted again. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I use a Cintiq display uh, to go back in and draw and make my work look like a painting or a drawing. So that's what I do. Um, I also uh, teach some art. I'm going to be teaching some digital art classes coming up at the Central Virginia Community College here in Lynchburg. One is on August the 15th and another one on September 5th. Um, I'll put a link down in the descriptions in case you want to sign up for it. If you live in the area, they're free. So, you know, hey, if it's free, it's for me. That's what I always say. So sign up and join that. And if you don't live in the area, I have um, an online course on Adobe Fresco, which I use frequently. And I'll put a link to that on, uh, on uh, in the descriptions also. So if you want to go sign up and uh, learn about Adobe Fresco, and uh, I talk about art with a lot of my uh, followers on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash yourartdude. I'll have a link down in there also for that. So please, uh, on these videos, please like and follow and share and subscribe and do all that because I'm really trying to grow the channel and make a really fun art channel for adults to learn about art and to make art. And if you go onto my Patreon page, there uh, you can uh, join it for free and follow there. There's dedicated chats. There's a dedicated chat for my Visionary Academy, which is what I call my online course for Adobe Fresco. That's the Visionary Academy. And uh, there's a dedicated chat just for that. So yeah, let's talk about art and have some fun, okay? Have a great week. Bye.